and welcome to this new special episode of Continuum Gaming, this time accompanying the episode 220 as you may already have noticed and of course we are going to do it in English as always. And um, yeah, today I want to show you a couple of different games which are user suggested, but the, uh, the interesting part of it is they are not UVP, that means they are most likely uh, WP 8.1 games, so for Windows Phone 8.1 and stuff like that but uh, not for Windows 10 Mobile specifically, but of course Windows 10 Mobile smartphones can use uh, or yeah, can more or less play those, but not on the big screen, as you may already have seen this with Continuum and stuff. That will not work, but we can do it in a different way, and of course uh, in the end it doesn't really matter if you want to play them, just play them on the smartphone you have, because um, that should be possible. So, um, the games, I just randomly picked three of them and uh, I will of course um, credit the guys who, who uh, send it in. And the problem is there are a couple of names I am not going to really really be able to more or less um, yeah, pronounce in the right way. So please bear with me if I am doing it wrong. No offense meant here, I am just a stupid ignorant person and can't do that better than that. Um, yeah, and the first game I want to show you is Radiant Defense, by, uh, suggested by uh, Tang Iam Iron, probably. Um, then the second one is The Wheel or The Wild by Lendo Passinauk. And the third one will be Survival Craft 2 by Christian Müller. And at least the last one I think I got right because that's a job name. I should be able to, do, to uh, say that one right. Yeah, and so let's start. Yeah, and here we are. And as you can see, we already have the Alcatel Idol 4 Pro in place here. I'm going to use uh, the Alcatel Idol 4 Pro because it has a much better uh, audio output compared to the Lumia 950 XL because it has the stereo speakers you can see here. And um, we are going to use that, of course, because uh, the games we are going to play here are not going to be um, universal apps or something at least not universal apps for Windows 10 Mobile. And um, because of that, we are going to use um, the smartphone display itself and of course all the output devices of that um, because we have to. Otherwise, we cannot play the games on the big screen. Or better to say, we cannot play the uh, games on the big screen because of that. Um, yeah, but that does not prevent us from using, for instance, a mouse with oh, it. I'm going to use uh, as a um, Arc mouse in this case, of course, as you already know, and I'm going to use the Fondle keyboard in some situations, not in, in most of them, because most of the situations here are not going to um, let us use the keyboard in any way, but um, we could use it in if we want to, for instance, put in some kind of character names, or if we want to do an avatar or something, describing something, I don't know. Um, for instance, inserting some kind of score values or some, uh, something like that would be possible with that. Um, the good thing is we just uh, can use it for both of the devices or at least the uh, Arc Mouse for most of the games. So I'm not going to have to put my fingers on the screen here and you're not seeing anything more uh, because I'm having my fingers on there. But um, the last game I'm going to show you will not work like that, so we will have a look there what is going on. But now, without further ado, um, just to let you know, we are not going to play a longer Let's, let's Play or something with the games. They are all very, very great. Please consider uh, playing them because they are really, really great. But they can't be played on the, on the big screen. And because of that, we are going to play it like this. Um, the problem with the games is that they are very, very long games. You really can put a lot of hours into them. And um, that's of course a cool thing, but I can't really cover all of that in a single video, no matter what special it is. So um, let's see what we're going to do here. First off, as you can see, um, there's a little bit of a, of a problem with the mouse movement I have here. It's not really a problem, but um, I'm sitting 90 behind the camera, of course, and, uh, and it's already turned around. So the mouse movement is still meant for upper use, but my mouse is sitting to it in this fashion, and if I'm moving, then this will move it on the other axis. So it's a little bit troublesome for me at the moment, but in the game itself it's going to be 
uh, rotate it and like that we are not going to have that problem um, or we just press this button to activate the first game. So let's see, Radiant Defense is really really a great game. We already know something like that. There, I think there's a game that is pretty popular um, which which uses uh, yeah quite close to that um, theme or something. But that's not the, the problem or the thing I'm going to show you here because what we are going to play here is more or less a tower defense game. And it's a really, really great one if you ask me. So let's have a look if we can have a, have a look at the, um, at the options here. So there's the music and the sound part and we could um, more or less get our get our um, pressure aces back if we would need to, but we don't have to at the moment. So first off, just go to start in this case. Anything else I'm going to explain to you. Um, yeah, we are already into the game a little bit. So um, we have, I think, something like this force wave or something going on here. So this is a tower defense game, as you already can see. And um, there is a little bit a kind of backstory here. So. There's this vortex, you can see that at this point where my mouse is. Um, this vortex is more or less um, going to yeah, eject um, different kind of alien species. And they're trying to go to that kind of, um, yeah, whatever that is called. This, this little bright thing here. And if one of the aliens is reaching it, it's going to be over. And um, yeah, a tower defense uh, game, as you may already have. Um, guest, yeah. So um, what we want to do here is we need to do different kind of things. As you can see, I already put in some uh, some defense parts here. So those are uh, cannons I built in, and you can, for instance, build this kind of walls in there. Let's see if I can, for instance, show you how to do that. If you click on one of those, you get those little informations down here, and if you click on those bow, and then you can, for instance make it more troublesome to go through and you can't build it in a way as you can see here you can't build it in a way that the monsters are not able to go uh, any kind of way anymore um, if you are ready you can just go out again i just got rid of that because that would be bad for me um, but this is more or less what we can do here and as you can see this is more or less a resource so if you are going to build that you are going to lose one of these resources and of course here are the money resources. Um, so for instance if you want to upgrade one of the cannons or if you want to build a new one, you can see you have a couple of different options here. For instance a railgun, this is more or less, I'm not sure, a cannon or something. Um, it is just a, a superior gun but it fires in a less frequent way. And we have some kind of a laser gun. Um, we, we are just going to try out what's happening if I start the wave, which is done by this button. So let's see. And as you can see, all the different um, enemies which are coming out there are glowing in some kind of way, and they are glowing aliens or something. Um, with the theme of the very, very popular game I told you before. And um, yeah, let's see if our cannons can, for instance, kill that wave. Probably we are going to be fine here. And of course, in between the waves, you can do stuff too. So for instance, if you have enough money to upgrade that one, you can do that. Now the fire frequency can be faster or the, the um, hits will be heavier or something. And of course, the range, as you can see, this is, that is a blue, um, the blue circle here, is going to be increased too. And this is more or less what's happening here in this game. And we are going to try to prevent all the different aliens coming here from going in. So now uh, we have a, a small little kind of information here which is going to go on. Um, it's more or less a conversation between one of the generals that, uh, that is telling us, uh, for instance, uh, about the, the intelligence uh, stuff. So some kind of, of information we get here. And of course, uh, is that kind of science guy who is trying to give us options and, and new technology to prevent the uh, enemy to go through. Yeah. 
And this is more or less what the game is all about. It's a pretty good one. I really like it. I like the, the optics of it. I like the design they yeah, have chosen here. And of course, I'm a, f a big fan of tower defense games anyway. So um, I'm really, really excited to play this on. And yeah, probably you are too. And this is the first time we see our enemy. So this is the enemy general, more or less, who is telling us, hey, what are you doing there? Why are you stopping my invasion and stuff like that? And now just go on. And let's see what's happening here. And the second game is the wheel in this case. So let's try to go there. As mentioned before, it's a little bit troublesome for me to, to navigate here, but doesn't matter. The wheel. The wheel is more or less a story game, and I really, really love it for that. Um, it's going to tell us a very yeah, very, very cool story about some kind of a, of a boat crew which is going to um, more or less strand at some kind of an island. And um, later on there will be more or less a submarine which is going to try to figure out what happened uh, there. And it really, really is a great game. So let's go to chapters because of course I've already played it a little bit. So let's have a look at settings maybe first. Yeah, as you can see, we have a couple of different options here. Um, let's activate the subtitles uh, maybe because that might be helpful. Other than that, let's go back out of this menu here and go to the start menu again. And as you can see, as you can see, um, we have a couple of different options here. We are going to go to chapters because here is chapter one. And again, put on your headphones. As you can see, it's really, really beautifully done, um, especially for a mobile game. This is really, really nicely done with all the storytelling, with all the really great voice acting in this case and stuff like that. And we are 200 years later and we are going to drive around with our submarine boat again. Um, we are not going to play a lot more, I just wanted to show you and yeah, make you a little bit curious about this game because um, in the end it's really a great one where you're going to uh, explore stuff. It's not about being extremely hard to play or something, but... Ruin makes a man. I've carried this heartache all grand as if the waters of the world break against my back and only I know what it is to drown. But water wears away, breaks down forms, a gulch grows. And so it is with the veil. A crack is growing, and soon it will yield to my boat. An escape readies itself. In time, I shall see what lies beyond. Manuel Zadiga, Chapter 1. And there we go again, we can now use this, yeah, our mouse pointer in the end and tell the submarine where to go. 
and we are going to drive around in this more or less yeah, th there is this passage under the ice or something and we are going to try to find the sunken ship, uh, ship more or less and we are going to drive around and double clicking on your ship will activate in general at least, not yet um, will in general activate your, there we go uh, your lights There's nothing in the world quite like the chill of the veil It's cold gets into your lungs touches every inch of your skin and seeps beneath it We call it bone chill that ache that gets in deep when you're exposed too long, a slowness sets in. And sooner or later, you're stiff as a board. You ain't no good to nobody then. Yeah, and as I already can see, I can't even tell you a lot of that. Uh, this morning, you can see your breath because in the, air. the story is going I on. I watched a boy at a porthole press his nose to the chilled glass and breathe white hot circles. He seemed lost in his thoughts, so I saved him the scolding. A little curiosity is good for a lad his age. And maybe we are going to play more or less the uh, first chapter here. Um, it's not going to be extremely the sun long. sets, a flash of light in the trees as it kisses the horizon. The tiny silhouette of the city is fading into smoky shadows, and with it, the last of our fellow ships seem to be disappearing. Here now is a kind of tunnel or something we are going through. And the whole game is about exploring. As you can see, we are now more or less trapped in there. There's a big wave uh, swimming there, which is great too. Now I think we have to go up now. Some say he's the hand of the lady, her pet. He's there to keep the unrighteous from crossing through her icy skirts. Cause the veil, she is unforgiving. Come on, stop trying to frighten us. There's nothing out there but ice water and more ice. I see it myself. Hitty looms. Wait for your crew to tire after fighting a storm. When the first lantern is lit in celebration of your survival, it attacks. A thrash of its tail can stave in the ribs of even the largest ships and its ivory teeth through the rest. You think the ice clamps against our hull are the biggest danger? Hmm? But trust me, men. You're wrong. Yeah, and I think we will more or less leave the game now. It's going to tell you a lot more about all this kind of storyline that's going on. on here. This is the world I am making. No longer bound by familiar shores. I navigate a new future, if I can but cross the ice. I lament the night. To lose the light of day removes all heat from my bones. I forge on. Manuals of Daiga, Chapter 6. Yeah, and as you can see, there's a lot of tension in this game. There's a lot of... I could play it all day long, if you ask me, because it's really getting... Yeah, we were very curious what's going to happen, what's going to be told there, uh, and stuff like that. The gameplay itself isn't that yeah, astonishing or something, there's not uh, much going on, but the storytelling at the moment is really, really great, and I'm really, yeah, more or less drawn to play this game a lot of times. So, just let us go out now, because otherwise this video is going to be extremely long, and um, I'm going to close that game now because otherwise it's going to use some kind of resources here we're not going to want that and i'm going to uh, activate the third game in our roundup today which is 
Survival Craft 2. Survival Craft 2 is something very common. So if you, for instance, play Minecraft or something, I'm not sure how to, how to call it. But very, very nicely done. There's a lot of story behind this. And, and the, the gameplay itself is very, very Minecraft-like. But um, what is happening here is more or less your crew is going to set you on a lonely island. And um, you are going to have to uh, to try to um, live on or yeah stay alive more or less on this lonely island. So there are a couple of different options here. I, I'm not going to show you all of them. There are a lot of them. Um, in the end, we can use our mouse for a couple of things as as well as the keyboard. Um, we should be able to use even the Xbox One as well as controller, but we can't for some reason or the other. And um, in the end, you should really play this game with your fingers. That's the only uh, really good playable uh, version of the game. Otherwise, it's not going to work that good. Um, I'm going to open a new world. And I'm just going to show you a couple of different things. So we are not going to do a lot of stuff here. Um, I just want to show you what's happening. And um, as you can see, we have a male. We call him mouse, okay. Control is mouse and keyboard in this case. We could go with gamepad, which is not available, uh, for instance. Um, but let's try it again. Maybe maybe it's working this time, I'm not sure. Would be cool to play this with the gamepad, I'm, uh, I think. See if we can do that now. I just activated uh, the gamepad now. Let's see if we can see it. So we, um, yeah, he, he doesn't see it at the moment. Um, I'm probably trying it out again afterwards, but I think we should do it like this. And now we should, for instance, go with mouse and keep, uh, keyboard in this case. And let's see, let's try to play it. I'm just going to show you a couple of different things here, as you can see. So the boys are going more or less to let us where we are, on an island. And there we are. Um, we can use the keyboard, as you can see, to run around a little bit. The problem is you can't look around without um, using the touch screen, as you can see. That's a little bit of a bummer, I really would like it to work here. But um, as mentioned before, we're not going to be able to do that. So let's see if I can use the smartphone in a way that it's not too disturbing for you. Maybe like this. And now we can just walk around, look around in different directions. And as you can see, we already have... We are very, very... Um, Familiar things going on here. So as you can see we have of course that kind of graphics uh, That is going to happen here. We are able to run around We are able to for instance collect stuff by just pressing in the middle of the screen now as you can see it's going to More or less kill that stuff and now we have it in our um, inventory here and we can look around Again, we can, for instance, go into a seek or hide mode, more or less. We can see different kind of animals on this uh, part. There are animals that are going to try to kill us, of course. There are animals we can, for instance, try to ride on. We are slightly hungry at the moment because, of course, we have been left on an island here. So make sure that you are trying to, to find some kind of... Um, some kind of food, of course. Here's wood and stuff. Jumping is done by clicking twice on the move icon here, or the, the view icon, what is look, sorry, it's look. Move, of course, just put your finger in a position up or down from the first time you touch the screen, of course. There are options to, to set this in a different way and stuff like that, but we're not going to. Oh, somebody is trying... Ooh. Okay, I'm 
probably going to die because there is something. Yeah. Yeah, and already I'm dead, as you can see. Um, the cool thing is it's really nice to see all the different things here. We ran into a wood or something in a forest and probably, I'm not sure what it is, maybe a jaguar or something has killed us here. I don't know, seems to be a tiger or something. Um, has killed us here. Over there, if you have a look there, there are a couple of different um, cows and stuff like that running around and a lot of things to explore. And um, yeah, as mentioned before, I don't want to, to make this a very, very long um, game to look at. Um, we can respawn, of course, and then run around in a different direction, for instance. And there's a lot to explore and discover in this game. So um, I can't show you everything, but I think you already got the clue what's going on here. You have to try to survive in a very hostile environment, of course, because it's a, uh, it's of course a, yeah, lost island or something. You're a castaway, and um, in the end, you will find food on this one. You can build different kind of tools and do more or less what what you are expecting from Minecraft and uh, such things, to, uh, things too, and. Um, yeah, scenery and stuff like that is really, really nice here. If you run around, somebody really, really got into doing a lot of things here. Let's try to have a nicer look here. As you can see, we are on an island with a lot of different things to look at. At the moment, there's only a couple of trees, sorry for that. But mentioned, as mentioned before, it's a lot of things you're going to explore here. So I'm not going to, to tell you a lot more. You can really, really do... Yeah, I should wear shoes and stuff. Yeah, thank you. Um, there's really a lot to explore and a lot of things you can do in this island. And yeah, you really can probably... Um, use this game for hundreds of hours or something. So um, I'm not going to show you everything. As you can see, you have, of course, a life, you have to eat, you have to drink stuff um, to survive and yeah, everything you would expect more or less. And of course, you will have to be very, very cautious about stuff here. Here is something to eat more or less. Let's go a little bit back. He doesn't want to take that at the moment. And of course you need shelter and stuff like that. No, he doesn't want to take that. Okay. It's going to start to rain now, as you can see. And here's a beautiful scene, as you can see, going on too. Um, I think we will leave it like that. I think you already got the clue about the game and what's happening here. So try it out. It's really a nice one. I really like it and I will explore a lot of things in this game. There are flying ducks or something. And um, yeah, so have fun with it. Hope you like it. Yeah, and there you have it. You already know it. They are really, really great games, I think. And um, you really, really should try them out if you, are, uh, for instance, don't want to play on the big screen or something. Those games need to be on each of the, of the smartphones you have because they're really, really great. Try them out. I really like them. And yeah, other than that, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. We will see us in the next episode again or in the normal episode over there. And just press on the on the uh, buttons. I will blend in or go to the to the icon there to see the normal episode too. And other than that, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. We will see us in the next episode, uh, probably in one week. And yeah, not much more to say. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Give a thumbs up, of course. Um, if you have any kind of questions, put them down below in the in the uh, commentary section. And if you didn't subscribe to now, please do it now. So, see you and bye. Bye.